Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one for you today, simply to acknowledge a lot of the conversation that is going on right now in the Corvette community. We've talked about it in recent videos, how we're not going to share false confirmed stuff. Well, what we're sharing with you today is simply speculation, hiding in plain sight, the GM test cars and camo that gets everybody excited when we see them, because that means something good is happening. Something is happening with General Motors, Chevrolet, and Corvette. But what it is, again, Tad just said, hiding in plain sight, we don't have a clue, but it makes for interesting conversation. And I was really bummed because those cars were caught in Ohio. Even my customer, Steve, was down there kind of hanging out while all the pictures and the filming was going on. If he would have called me, I would have stopped what I was doing, got on the car, went down there. I couldn't believe they were this close, but they love traveling that triple nickel here in Ohio. And I think what I'm going to do is get in my car and drive that road with you guys and share it on the channel so you get an idea what, what they love experiencing and what they're testing on that car. And it wasn't just Corvettes that they were testing. And these weren't borrowed cars. You take a look at the back end here. Yes, that Ferrari, it's got a manufacturer's plate on it. Did GM just buy that Ferrari? Did they buy that Porsche GT3? Uh, yes, they want to know what the competition is and they want to kick its butt. The value story that we have in Corvette right now is spectacular. And we've said it before, GM has said it before, it is only the beginning. As you look at more of these pictures, trying to dissect it and try and figure it out, don't. <laughs> We're not going to know, but it is interesting to see that some of these cars had different exhaust ports, some as they are now, some in the center, some having a little thingy hanging out of the front trunk and, hey, what's this thing up on the dash, this red, is that a panic button? Is that an eject button? I mean, what is that thing? We look at the different spoilers, we look at the different contours, you could see that some of these appear to be maybe a convertible uh, who knows what we're looking at? It just is great conversation. It's fun conversation. What's really a bummer is this Sunday, I'm hoping that they're heading north and not south, those test cars that were in Marietta, because this Sunday I might, if my schedule permits a lot, what happens today will determine that. Uh, I might be in the Detroit area, although I won't be with my car because for the first time ever, I'm actually going to do, and we'll talk more about that in a future video, but I'm going to do a soft window tint, back tint here, and even some type of UV protection on my windshield, so I won't have my car, but Ryan and I are bringing cameras if we go to the Detroit area, just in case, just in case. I've never been able to capture one of these test cars out in the wild, so I'll be your spy photographer, and if I see one, I'm going to follow him to the nth degree because I'm just a little kid like that. Uh, so interesting conversation. Special thanks to my buddy Keith at Corvette Blogger allowing us to share some of the video and some of the pictures you're looking at now. Um, we could speculate and guess all we want. These are EX VIN number cars, experimental VINs, but they're close. They're building prototypes in the plant. They're close. How close? Well, that remains to be seen. More to come on this channel. Don't forget viewer mail part two. A lot of fun, interesting stories. Some really neat stuff that you guys made for me is coming up Sunday on our Coffee with Conti show. Appreciate you being here. Support the channel by subscribing. Thumbs up the video. Make those comments down below. Guess to your heart's content what the heck we're looking at in these GM test cars. And we'll be so far off. It's, they could be testing stuff six years away from us in the current bodies. They really are ahead of what we are mentally so have some fun it's corvette man that's what it's all about thanks again for watching oh, real quick before you guys go i want to show you uh, a video that i'm working on we did this a long time ago look at that see that steep incline yeah. i'm going to show you why i didn't need why i didn't order the front lift